Hey there doll friends, welcome back! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a pigtail swig for your dolls. This one's a highly requested video, so I hope you enjoy. Now let's begin. As always, we'll start with the wig cap. Cover your doll's head with cling wrap and secure a cloth over with elastics. Make sure you tuck the elastic under your doll's ear and the back hairline. And then, brush on 3-4 to four coats of white glue. Once dry, make guidelines around the ears before removing it from your doll's head. Then, trim off the excess. Here, I decided to curve the edges and raise the hairline a bit. And here's our finished wig cap. Next, we draw guidelines for the part and the bangs area. Draw a straight line from the center to the back and two diagonal lines on both sides of the head. Then, glue your first layer and cut your bangs. This will be our guide for later. Also, don't forget to put the cling wrap back on because it's going to get messy after you cut it. See? And then, continue gluing wefts until you cover the entire bangs area. If you want to know how I make my yarn wefts in detail, please check out my How to Make Yarn Wefts tutorial. Also, you'll need two hanks of yarn for this project. All done! Since we have our guide, I'll take off the wig so I don't mess up her face or worse, cut her eyelashes. If your doll doesn't have glued on lashes, Go ahead and trim off the bangs while it's on the doll's head. It will look super wild after you cut, so dip a toothbrush in water and brush it over the bangs. This is my secret styling product. When you're happy, clip on the side bangs and we'll start gluing wefts around this area and on the part. While waiting for the part to completely dry, grab a piece of weft, brush some glue on the edge, and roll. Add more to make it thicker. And make two. Add more glue to the base and set aside. Take a small piece of the part and we'll save this for later. Then, start gluing wefts on top of the bangs area and around the edges of the wig cap. Get one of your rolled wefts and stick it on the side of the head. Once dry, cover this bald area by gluing wefts on top of the first layer, but in opposite direction like so.
And now for the tricky part, tying it all together. First, get a lot of these. To make this easier and more neat, separate the hair into sections and tie it in groups. I couldn't explain it well so I'll just show you. Also, you want to make sure everything is completely dry before tying it all together. You don't want to mess up all your hard work. Flip the short part piece and clip it with the side bangs. Half of our pigtail's done. Now let's do the other half. Just follow the same instructions as before. Here, I'm just brushing some of the part piece forward so it blends evenly with the bangs. Style our pigtails layer doll down and brush it with a comb or toothbrush. Then, using the tail end of your comb, poke through the hair and form it to your desired shape. Now let's trim the side bangs. For this, we'll use an eyebrow razor. Hold the hair down and run your razor diagonally, starting at the top going down to achieve a soft, tapered look. Remember to shave small bits at a time so you'll have plenty of room for adjustments. Lastly, you can add bows and accessories. Even small stickers for clips, and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. If you'd like me to see your work and feature it on my next video, please do tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag Mozaquita Look so I can see. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!